about the state of the gospel church today. Christ care of it. The devil's enemy against it. And the mixture they are in it of good and bad in this world. Amen. And the separation between them in the other world. So it is for a man to fall into sin without knowing. As it is today, the enemy is busy. So he deceives. And after sowing, he goes away his own way with confidence that they will spring up and do his desire harm. Whereas, when good seed is sown, it must be tendered, it must be watered and fenced. The servants complain to their master, Sir, did thou not sow good seed in thy field? No doubt he did. Whatever is ungodly and immoral in the church, we are sure it is not from Christ. Though gross transgressors and such as openly oppose the gospel, they preach gospel of prosperity and earthly possession. Those that use the scripture to defend homosexuality and many other acts considered unmobilable before God, as we have today. We feel such people ought to be separated from the society of the faithful, yet no human skill can make an exact separation. Those who oppose must not be cut off, but instructed, and that with meekness. And though good and bad are together in this world, yet at the great day they shall be parted. Then the righteous and the wicked shall be plainly known. Here sometimes it is hard to distinguish between them. Let us know the terrors of the Lord. Do not do any iniquity. A dead believers shall shine forth to themselves. At the great day, they shall shine forth before the entire world. They shall shine by reflection with light borrowed from the fountain of light. Their sanctification will be made perfect and their justification published. May we, who are listening to me this morning, be counted among that happy number. Amen. 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 Let us all therefore strive to get closer to Christ. Amen. Since no one knows Amen. when the end will come. Amen. As we are told at the Bible class in Revelations 1, 1 to 3, the revelation from Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show his servants what must soon take place, he made it known by sending his angel to his servant John, who testifies to everything he saw, that is, the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. Blessed is the one who reads aloud the words of this prophecy. And blessed are those who hear it. And blessed are those who take to heart what it is written in it. Amen. Because the time is near. Amen. Can we bow our head for prayer? Heavenly Father. Amen. We praise you and your honor. We honor you, Father. We thank you for being with us always and loving us with your eternal love. You are in control of all things, and we thank you for that. Oh Lord, the scripture clearly tells that without faith, we can neither please you, nor receive any answer for our prayer. Please forgive us for not believing in your love, in your power, and in your goodness. Many times we've been discouraged by our circumstances, and many times we have failed to trust in you. Please forgive us, Lord. Amen. You are the God of all hope. And we acknowledge that nothing is too difficult for you. We are confident that you will meet all our needs as we seek to live according to your word. Thank you, Lord, for helping us get over our own belief, removing all our fears and anxieties, let us not lose heart on seeing the circumstances, Lord. Strengthen our faith through which alone 
pray and receive miracles from you, Lord. You have said, whatever we ask in prayer, believing, we will receive. Amen. Thank you for this promise, Lord. Amen. We love you and trust in your awesome power. Amen. We know you are with us right now to take care of our needs. And we thank you for that. In Jesus' name, Father, we pray. Amen. Amen. May God bless you all.